The American Bar Association has suffered a massive data breach that leaked the user credentials of more than 1 million members. The ABA notified affected individuals that in a detected and authorised third-party access on the 17th of March, the information had been stolen. The legal professional body initiated an incident response plan and engaged external cybersecurity experts to assist with the investigation. On March 23, 2023, the investigation determined that the threat actor gained access to a decommissioned server around the 6th of March and obtained certain client information. The American Bar Association disclosed that unauthorized access exposed usernames and hashed and salted passwords used on an old ABA website prior to 2018. They were instead both hashed and salted, which is a process by which random characters are added to the plain text password, which is then converted on ABA systems into cyber text, the data breach notification stated. ABA noted that many leaked user credentials were default passwords assigned during account creation. Additionally, although the threat actor accessed a decommissioned server, many users possibly reused the same credentials on new ABA websites, putting their new accounts at risk. While the ABA was still trying to assess the risk, there was no indication that the threat actor stole additional personal information or had misused the leaked data. There is also no indication that the data breach originated from a ransomware attack. Meanwhile, the legal professional body has taken additional security measures, including removing the attacker from the systems and reviewing his network configurations to prevent similar incidents. Additionally, the ABA notified approximately 1.4 million potential data breach victims, urging them to change their login information including on other sites reusing the leaked user credentials. They should also enable multi-factor authentication where possible and stay vigilant for attempted phishing attacks by threat actors impersonating ABA staff. While the leaked user credentials are hashed and salted, hackers could still crack the passwords if a weak hashing algorithm such as MD5 or SHA1 was used. Similarly, obtaining plain text passwords is more likely if a static salt was used or stored alongside the leaked user credentials. The legal sector has become the target of cyber attacks targeting confidential information held by law firms and other legal professional bodies. The industry has also witnessed multiple data breaches from human error. On January 10, 2023, the US Securities and Exchange Commission sued Covington and Burling after hackers breached the law firm, gaining access to 300 clients' confidential information. Cadwalda, Wickersham and Taft is also facing a class action lawsuit in Manhattan, New York, stemming from the November the 22nd's data breach that exposed the personal information of 93,000 people. And in March 2023, law firm Hedel, Pitoni, Murphy and Back agreed to settle a 2021 data breach investigation by paying $200,000 to the state of New York and in early 2022, the State Bar of California disclosed a data breach that leaked 260,000 attorneys' disciplined cases. So as you can see, threat actors are most certainly targeting legal firms and the Bar Association at the moment. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you are interested in cybersecurity news and tech information, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.